This is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. And we are about to attempt to handle uh, Azura's star. This is a fairly difficult quest, but the reward is very worthwhile. Stendhal's mercy. You found it. Azura's star. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work the way we had meant to before his madness. It would mean cutting the star off from Azura. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Give me a minute to examine the star. I'll see what we'll need to do. So, he's going to take a look at this thing and fix it up. So we're going to put Contour Frost Atronach in our right hand. Actually, we should put this in our left hand and put Bound Sword in our right hand. If we were to somehow a special type, I understand if you need some time. So let's do this. Very still. This might stay up. I told you first, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. Now, take a deep breath. Ah, why? Okay, so we're going to summon. Oh, no, that is not what I meant to do. So, we're going to summon a Frost Atronach, which will go and uh, hopefully go uh, go fight those guys for me, or, or at least get started on them. Unfortunately, they're throwing fireballs uh, at him, but so actually, we're going to keep fast healing in our hand here and try to keep healing ourselves up. And Drymora, those are other nas nasty uh, summons that eventually we will learn to handle ourselves. But we won't have them for a while. Fortunately, we have really good mana regeneration. Unfortunately, we're not doing a lot of damage. But I think we're hopefully wearing these guys down. This is always what I imagined battles between mages uh, would look like. So he got some hits in. Let's hope that he can keep on getting hits in. So part of this is made easier by the fact that I have some pretty decent mana regeneration at this point. But this is what I'm talking about uh, when I reference uh, how important it is to have um, 
summons to distract your foes because I would not have so much of a chance beating up these guys myself. But I'm doing, I'm holding my own and not actually taking uh, many hits because I have enough mana regeneration and uh, and magic resistance. And actually, this is being fairly effective at training my uh, training the relevant skills. But it's a very very noisy uh, battle at the very least. At least I hope I'm uh, wearing them down. I'm gonna back off a little bit. So this is being kind of slow. So maybe what I'm gonna do is keep on conjuring, but while uh, while these fights are happening, I'm gonna see if I can slip around. No, I, th this is a little bit too close. So maybe if I can have uh, have one of them die, then I'll be able to, to run in and start uh, beating them up uh, more directly. So yeah, this is definitely summon spamming as a survival technique. Although I kind of wish that I had more um, more types of summons than this. See if I can get a good. Aha! Uh -huh. So that was pretty good. I got a blow in, and it actually did quite a lot of damage. So fast healing on the left, and uh, frost atronach on the right. So yeah, one of these guys is almost dead. And I figure once I can get one of them gone. then suddenly everything gets a lot easier. Or at least it should. Actually... Sweet. Um, fast healing on the left, and Frost Atronach on the right. And they're taking a, a longer time to kill uh, this point. Oh, except the Drymora can heal. I did not no notice that before. But I do need to keep up with the healing. So... And it's still pretty clear that I need the Atronach in order to... And I think I accidentally hit my Atronach. Fast healing. Oh, 
what was it? It was the crossbow. Oh, wait a minute. I just took another... Oh, so we're down to one foe now. That is a good sign. We can get data hearts from these guys, which is kind of nice. And we'll get our crossbow ready to follow up. Unfortunately, he just healed himself all the way back up. And Adora seemed to have really pretty quick uh, healing. So... Got him. So, we're going to do a bound uh, sword and an elven shield. We are going to save real quick because that was ridiculous and I don't really want to go through it again if uh, something goes wrong. Let's get the other Daedra hearts. Retrieve one of our bolts. We don't really need anything more. But our target is down there. And it would be appropriate to... Oh, I'm not hiding from you. You're hiding from me. Malin's enchantments are broken. Hold on. I'm going to pull your soul out of there. Brace yourself. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside the soul gem, apparently. Which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh... It's This is not a very fast process. Easy there. The numbness will pass. Just don't strain yourself. Uh, and we seem to be getting some really pretty extreme lag. We've done it. The star has been cut from Azora, and Malin's soul finally has some measure of peace, even if it is non-existent. Okay, so I do not know what is up with this lag. You could use it for what we meant it for. Using black souls for enchanting.
The Black Star will never decay. You keep it. I'd sooner finally put this chapter of my life behind me. Congratulations. You've changed the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. Okay. So, we seem to have finished this quest, which is pretty cool. The game is also being kind of laggy, but a little bit less laggy now. So, we might be good. So, the nice thing about this, uh, as something to keep around, is that for the rest of the game, anytime we head out, so long as we kill a, uh, a human, and it is not hard to find humans to fight, then uh, we get another uh, we get another chance to enchant something with the strongest level uh, um, soul gem uh, that uh, that you can get. But the game is being unusably slow right now, so I probably need to um, I probably need to save and end this episode now. So I will see you next time in. Uh oh, come on. I'll see you in the next uh, Let's Play Skyrim. Hoping that this saves. Good.